Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Practical Tutorial. You're watching Mainframe Tutorials. So today in this video I would like to share your practical tutorial about the COBOL program using a add, subtract and multiply. So these are the arithmetical operations which is required for any programming language during their programming so as we all code uh, the same th the same arithmetic operations in either it might be C, C++, Java or .NET in the same way now we are going to see how do we do an arithmetical operation using COBOL practically so let's go and see how to do that practically now let's connect to the cobalt program by connecting to the mainframe terminal so now I'm into the mainframe machine and here is your library where the cobalt program has written and as you all know that cobalt program is written in PDS member so the same thing I'm doing it here just write to give it columns so make sure you have written all the coding in a standard section according to their column A and column B and uh, don't make any mistakes be cautious about the rules how do you start where do we start identification division environment divisions and the sections and paragraphs so okay so here is my identification division then the programmer ID then author then give example description followed by environment division data division and walking storage section so here I'm going to declare a variables related to working story section since this program is about uh, to compute add subtract and multiply so I have declared couple of variables over here uh, so as we all know that in data divisions we have three different sections that is working storage section linkage section and file section so if you're trying to declare a variable with working storage section you just try to declare starts with a preser with the WS hyphen so that it would be easy to understand you and in the same way if you have a linkage section try to code with uh, ls hyphen and the same way for file section try to code it with fs hyphen so okay so this is how uh, we declared a variables here uh, a b c d and we are trying to assign a value instead of accepting the firm terminal so i'm trying to hard code the value here itself in the cobalt program instead of dynamically accepting it so I'm assigning each values to these respective variables with the uh, declared a data type length of 9 which is numeric so now we'll go into the procedure division where actual logic comes here so add is a keyword to add two variables just I'm trying to add it to A to B and the result is stored in B then I'm trying to display add of two variables is B uh, the display as the result is stored in WSB I'm trying to display this and end with a dot so display as you all know the display is the output terminal output command which is sh display this uh, output on the screen so the same way subscribe is a keyword uh, to subscribe the two variables subtract c from b and giving to d in the same way for multiply we use multiply keyword to multiply two numbers and in the same way for divide we give divide keyword to divide two numbers and then trying to display so you can easily understand right this is a simple language you are writing a COBOL pr program how do how you have learned uh, English right so first you learn the statement sections paragraph words sections words then statements then sections paragraphs in the same way the COBOL program is also in the same way so here uh, and then later on we we learn some we go into max class then we learn about what is addition subtraction division in the same so it's the feel like the same thing so here uh, and add is a keyword which is used to add words subtract multiply and divide so now uh, we are done with this coding a program then we will go to compile section and we will try to compile this so what is the program name I gave there I gave my program name as compute though I'll uh, use make sure that my program is pointing to specific library and uh, see this is my library uh, where it is and uh, make sure you have pointed to this and compute if you are using any copy lip you will be using the copy lip point uh, I'm not using copy lip just even though if you will make it remain game same no problem so make sure you load it into your load library uh, the compiled copy of uh, cobalt program should be loaded in this load library so make sure so then I'm going to submit this job 
so it is submitted it is ended with zero then after ending at zero just go to spool and verify if it has been successfully completed and it has been ended with zero just how do you check it you go to spool and make sure uh, step one has been successfully executed with condition code zero then you go to cover program and cross check if it is with written code zero and your code is expanded properly according to the coding sheet yes you can see the coding sheet and your code is expanded properly and then there are no issues with the compilation process so what is the next step of your compilation yes you're right it's run so we need to run the COBOL program so so you should point your program name this you have you need to write a separate JCL to compile your COBOL program so so I'll be giving for I will be commenting here so is it a COBOL program for compute compute arithmetical operations to add subtract multiply subtract and multiply so this is how we write a new JCL and give a comment so that everyone can understand uh, if you are in your absence. So, step 01 compute and give you a load library whatever you pointed in uh, compilation. Then, since we are not, we, since we don't have any, uh, what I can say, accept statements in your COBOL program, so I'm not using this as indeed start, so just remains as it is. So, now straight away submit it and see the results. So it ended up with max is zero. Then again, go to spool. How do we go to school? Spool. Okay. So now check the results. See, addition of two numbers, WC and B, is zero, and division and subtraction is zero. <laughs> Uh, 0 multiplication 0 and division of two numbers is 0 7 so this is how uh, <laughs> if the two variables are same so obviously 0 comes so then I'm trying what I'm trying to do is uh, C was 3 from B since the result was B is storing 3 3 minus 3 results to 0 in the same way multiplication uh, 0 and division is 7 so this is how a uh, COBOL program works of uh, an uh, of you want to add subtract or multiplication if you like this video kindly please subscribe or like or comment on my youtube channel so if you are if you are looking for many updates uh, which whatever i post on my youtube channel kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you won't miss any videos whichever i would be posting so thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day